Hey guys, what up? Grin here, and today I'm back in my video. Today I'm here on Pet Catchers. It is finally an update one. I'm going to show you guys what's new, what's fixed, and yeah, let's get into it. So I actually took a screenshot and I kind of marked out what is important. You can go over all the stuff in Discord. We look at it. There's all that stuff that you can look over, but I'm gonna get to the main stuff. Trading is here, finally. I can't really say finally, the game's only been out for a week, but it's not allowed in VIP servers, it's kind of sad. And I'm not going to a public server to show you guys. But yeah, it's here. Uh, Omaka Murato landed in the Magma Basin. So that is this guy right here. First of all, that pet looks so cool. And then you get, is that a free? Oh, that's actually insane. But yeah, you talk to this guy and he gives you a strange request that you have to go and complete. And once you complete 15, you get some bonus rewards. And 30, you get that insane pet, which I am definitely getting, no matter how much I have to grind. Three limited time global secret pets that are caught to be hatched or hatched. And what that means is if we go into here, there is now three more. It used to only be this and this. Now there's that one in 4.1 mil, 816k, and 81k. So it's basically the same as this tier three. Next up, we have the new Void Cherry Treat from the Cherry Shrine or Black Market. I will show you guys what it does. Basically, if you give it to a pet, it gives you one to four golden cherries in return and makes it a common. So if I use it on this, it would give me one to four. Or if I use it on this, it would give me one to four. But yeah, it's just a way to kind of refund your cherries. And I think it's pretty cool, but it's not very worth it in my opinion. Three new upgrades to the Golden Ticket. If we look over here, 25k, 75k, and 125k. In total, it's 225,000 gems to get all of them. I honestly don't think it's very worth it. I think you can just go consistently spend it over there. But I get it if you want to just AFK or something. And finally, a new Mob Rush server event. I actually have not seen it. I'm going to go check if it's going to start. If it starts soon enough, maybe I'll include it in this video. Ooh, it starts in an hour. I don't know if I'll be doing that. But I'm assuming it just increased the spawn rates of mobs. Which I kind of think is funny because I've been calling these mobs the entire time. And I was actually kind of right. I've been like correcting it in videos and stuff. I don't know if you've seen it. I've been correcting it to enemies, but it's actually kind of right, I think. So that's kind of cool. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of other stuff like new pets in the featured shop, and yeah, I'm not getting into that. They also increase these, but yeah, overall, I think it's a good update. I'm gonna go check out some of the content for you guys so you guys can see what's up. So, first thing here that I think is pretty cool is if you go to Wild Berries and you use it on, let's say, a Phoenix. There's now a new option to until level, which it'll go until it levels up. So this will go until level four, which it did. Although it did kind of use more. So I think that's a bug that'll probably get fixed, but you know, still works. It's better than just to use all button. Next up, if we go over here, every 50 of these quests now gives a prismatic egg. At 250, you get a mount. And at 500, you get a bra pet. And that also goes for this one over here. If we head over here. At every 20, you get a prismatic... Is that tome? Let me check. Yes, prismatic tome. Every 50, you get that. Every, at 200, you get that little mount. And at 400, you get that pet. I think it's a good idea because it will motivate people to actually do these quests more. I can tell you I have not been doing like any of my quests. I've just been AFKing. And speaking of AFKing, when you're AFKing, you tend to get a lot of these ray mounts. We actually convert them to make it a new color and whenever you get eight. So I think that's kind of cool. It'll just not be this blue. Another thing here is if you look at the shiny hunt, pets in Dusty Dune are more four times more likely to spawn or hatch as shiny. That is new. You used to not be able to hatch them. They used to only spawn in chat as shiny, which none of them did funny enough. But let me try to show you guys right now. Let me actually, yeah, I'm going to use a Sunday to try to do this. 
Let me see if I can hatch a shiny real quick for you guys. It's not looking likely. I will not be getting a shiny. I only did it for like two minutes, but still. Alright. And then the final thing I'm going to show you in this video, because it actually is getting kind of lengthy for an update video, and I'm already assuming that nobody's watching to this part, is here. So if we go in here, there's now a new like UFO mount that you can get from any of these mini games. You can get it from the King Slime as well, if I can head over there. We look, one in 8,000. It's actually rarer than the pet, funny enough. And because I did use my little um, thing to get me super roll, I will just abuse the crap out of this fight. If you guys didn't know, you can actually go like right here in this corner. And he'll spawn up there. So then you are able to just sit here and get your life steal pets to keep on damaging to keep you alive infinitely. If we look, let's see if he, he hit me for like 70 and I'm already back up. Yay, I was just taking a sip of my drink and I finished the boss. Let's see if I get it. Of course not. Oh wait. Of course not. My bad. Uh, I was a little bit early. But yeah, that's the update video. I'm going to just sit here in AFK and complete my stranger quests. And yeah, if you guys enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. That would I'd really appreciate it. And see you guys next time. Peace.